Sooner than later, rather. Yeah. Page 12. I don't know if you've managed to re read Miguna Miguna's <laughs> new book, uh, but uh, on his new book, he uh, talks about Miguna on Uhuru, mortal fear of his deputy, Raila Schemes. And apparently, some of what is playing out now, uh, politically speaking, is captured in his book in terms of the president ensuring that the deputy does not uh, make it to president. Of course, that is now just political spin. Mm -hmm. One thing that... Uh that I read Meguna's first book, The Peeling Back the Mask, and one thing you realize from the book is that it's Meguna's account how he interacted with the politicians and how politicians view our issues vis-a-vis -vis their interests. And that's why this Meguna's book is an interesting book because we know what happened in, in 2017 mm -hmm. election. So it's an interesting book to read. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And uh, we'll get ourselves a copy and read that. So that's what we have for you on the standard. And uh, let us now take a look at the Daily Nation. And um, married women can inherit father's land. This is in a landmark ruling that uh, a judge asserted the entitlement of women to inherit the properties of their fathers. Stirring debate on constitutional provision and customary law as women lawyers laud the ruling. Men organization question its motivation. So, of course, land has been a very emotive issue right from way back and, of course, more to do with inheritance because traditionally women were not part of an inheritance when it came to land but men would be the ones who would be bequeathed by their parents but that ruling of course changing things yes what i would like to see is from the our scholars how they are going to interpret these issues because uh, and how they are going to write more about this issue because what we are having is a uh, this case was actually the judge used some case law from other countries to interpret this law and help him to come up with a judgment, which is a beautiful judgment because if you talk about a child, a child is either minor or an adult. So as a, as a woman, you are someone's child who needs to inherit his property. So basically you can see there are some logic behind this judgment, mm. which I have said uh, I would love to see some how the scholars are going to interpret and write about this. Story. All right, and this, of course, is to do with Bill of Rights in the uh, Constitution and uh, trumping customary law. Of course, um, customary law, there's some who hold on to tradition and customary law very strongly, uh, but this bill now goes against that to give women an equal right of inheritance of land. And we do know that land has been a major issue in many areas in terms of inheritance, even when it comes to the political scene. One of the bones of contentions is uh, availability of resources for women, for them to be able to have an equal plane when it comes to uh, you know activity, uh, politically speaking. But away from that, there's also another story on the front page, and this is a story that has been uh, running now for some few days, and it is to do with the murder probe of Miss Mary Wambo Remember, this is the lady who was killed. Uh, it is alleged she was killed in an apartment on four-way apartments um, uh, where it is said initially that her husband and a mistress were present. But now, evidence coming out to show that uh, the vehicle and the telephone uh, that belongs to her husband may have been at a different location at the time of the murder. Mm -hmm. But that, of course, not to exonerate him yet, but just to say that that makes the case a little bit weaker, especially when it comes to having the husband being present at the time of murder. Yes. Personally, I have a problem with the DPP and DCI. They mm -hmm. prosecute their cases through media instead of the courts of law. And that's where we are having a When problem. you say they prosecute through media, what exactly do you mean? Because media has picked this up and uh, given a story as per what has happened. Because the media has picked this story from DCI and the DPP's office. That's why they have picked this story. But when you go to present now this case to court, you'll find totally different things. Because in court of law, it's about evidence, facts, facts and the law. Mm -hmm. But for in most cases that we are having uh, currently, big, big cases, most especially the corruption cases, what you have in newspaper is totally different what is in the court. Mm -hmm. That's why, as per now, nine people have already been... Uh, 
Nine people have already been acquitted in the in the NYS2 scandal mm -hmm. because there is no evidence. But if you look for a newspaper which was talking about NYS2, you could see that almost these people have been jailed. Mm. Yeah. All right. And uh, well, that's a debate that we also need to have in the newsroom sometime in regards to uh, reportage and how it is done. I do remember that Justice uh, Jessie Lesit uh, did come and she raised that as one of the concerns regarding how much evidence is given on a newspaper or in the media mm. as opposed to what is presented to the court. court. And of course, when there is that difference, then the, uh, the, the court of public opinion has a different um, scenario as compared to what is factual. On page five, we also have uh, another story there. The autopsy reveals that Mildred was hit on the head. Another very gruesome murder of a young lady which is still being pieced together after she was picked up by a taxi to be taken to hospital. But between the taxi and hospital, something drastic seems to have happened. And what the relatives now are left with is a dead body that has uh, bruises and and also, no details of what may have happened in between. Yes, as an analyst, what, what I can say is that currently we are having such cases or it's on the rise and something needs to be done. Mm. Because some of us understand that because of uh, the current changes in our economic uh, sector, the moral decay that we are having in the society and other issues, it's leading to most of these cases that we are having. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how we are going to sort it out, but we need to sort it out. All right. Yes. Page 10 also has an interesting story, which was a headliner yesterday, and this is to do with match fixing. Uh, there was that uh, issue that uh, one of the Harambe Stars players had been compromised by um, a match fixer, so to speak. But it emerges that this is not something new. It is not something that is starting now. It, and it's not even a local problem. It's yeah. something that is worldwide. But um, the facts that uh, now they're changing from using referees to match fixing to actually using players. Yes, uh, match fixing is a big problem to the, to the football industry mm. and uh, the best way how to solve it is how to enumerate local players currently in this country because we are having an issue with, with, with our local uh, football in the sense that we have sponsors who are ready to sponsor the, the industry. But that is not trickling down to players, basically. Because we see some of these players are really struggling. But you can see the money that has been pumped into the football industry. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But you, you ask yourself, where is this money going? Where does it go yeah. to? Yeah. All right. And uh, page 12. To get life for harboring terror, terror suspects, uh, I think we are accused uh, of reporting when they are released, but we uh, somehow shy away from mentioning when uh, some are convicted. But there you go, two terror suspects were yesterday sentenced to life, and this is for harboring one of the most wanted uh, terror suspects uh, some years ago. But there you go, a father and son being put behind the bars for life. Yeah, that shows if you are involved with terrorism, this is what you are going to, to get. Mm. And the authorities, of course, cracking the whip. Yeah. Well, that's where we're going to wind up our newspaper review this morning. And uh, do get yourself a copy of The Standard. And uh, do get yourself and see what is in the dailies today. For now, we're going